Hi, welcome to Miss Jessica's Shall We Learn Scratch class. Today I'm going to show you what does a scratch program looks like. So this is the scratch program and what's over here is called a stage. And the state the cat on the stage is called sprite. When you drag when you put your mouse on the on, on the sprite or on this cat, you can move it around. And also when you move it around you see that the X and the Y here they keep moving. These are the locations of your of your mouse cursor. So next when you select this sprite, say when it's selected, the sprite will be will have the blue border. When you select it, if you go to this side, you will see that there are three tabs, script tab, custom tabs, and sound tab. So script is how you control the sprite. They control what it does when it collide or hit the other sprite, or where does it move. And custom is what the sprites looked like. And sounds is where you control the type of sounds that you make. And this is where you can record the sound and or you can import an, ex, an existing music clips. So let's try to create a brand new uh, sprite. To create, to bring another sprite, what you do is you click this paint new sprite button, you click it, it's going to ask you either to draw or you can import an existing pictures. Let's try to import an existing pictures. You click import, it will show you all the available pictures that you can choose from. Let's pick animals. And there are many animals, pictures that are already created for you. Say we pick another style of the cat. We pick cat 3 and click OK. It put this cat 3 pictures on this paint editor screen. You just All you need to do, just click OK. Now you have a, another sprite. And now it's called sprite 2. What we could do is we can change its name. So we could change its name to any any name, say um, Big Cat, because it's bigger than the original cat. So we change its name to Big Cat. When we change it, the name over here becomes Big Cat. What you could also do is you could change its size. If this Big Cat is too big, you can shrink it by clicking the shrink sprite. Once you click it, your mouse will become this will look like this, showing with four arrows pointing inside. When you click this big cat sprite, this big cat sprite will shrink. In the same way, when you select grow sprite, select it, and click on the cat, it's going to keep on growing, just as the name says. Another cool stuff you could do is you can duplicate the sprite. Click duplicate. When you click duplicate, your cursor will look like uh, a stamp and just stamp on the sprite. And as soon as you stamp, you're going to have another sprite that looks just the same, except its name is called Sprite 2. And you can also change its name to maybe Brother Cat or let's just call it Brother. Okay, so now you have two cats. One is called Big Cat, one is called Brother Cats. And you could also delete the cat. Say, I don't want the Brother Cats now. So I cut the Brother Cats away. Now it's, it's gone. And so also, maybe I don't want the Sprite 1, so I can cut it too. Now what I have left is Big Cats. Next, I'm going to show you how to change the customs of the big cat. So if you click on customs, here you have this 
Costume 1, you can create multiple costumes. But right now, we're just going to stick with one costume. So click Edit. And say I don't like um, the eyes. I want to make it bigger. So what you do, you can click the ellipse tools, which basically means circle. And you can keep the solid. This is solid and this is hollow. Keep the solid selected and just create a bigger black circle. So the cat's eyes look much bigger. And say I want to change the color from brown to blue. What I do is I click the fill tool and then put the dropper, the eyedropper on the, any the color that that I like. And then this color is gonna become blue. All I do is I bring the, the fill bucket over to the cat and just click away. Wherever you click on the the area, the whole area that's closed, it's gonna turn all blue. So it looks good. Now I can click OK. And then you can see the cat has become like alien-like blue cats. So I hope you find this interesting and you can go practice on your own, maybe create any other cool sprite. And we'll see you next time.